What's up, what's up, good people? This is your boy, Grady Boy Papelon himself in the area representing 254 to the audio that stand out me see. And we are the fountain of entertainment, as you all know. And of course, as the number one source of entertainment in Kenya, we are here to talk about the event that happened at the Laurel Gardens that was hosted by the EABL. The event was graced by several Kenyan artists that also international ones, namely BN Adir from UK, Rema from Nigeria, and of course, Nyasiski from Kenya. Rema is a worldwide renowned Afro pop artist who's been featured in collaboration with international artists like Selena Gomez with the remix of his hit song Calm Down. <laughs> Lemma's hit song come down as a past of 900 million views since without doubt that a lot of his fans were in attendance and his performance was very much awaited. Lemma stepped on the stage with a very magical appearance and strange man-made mountain was all the fans could keep their eyes on since it brought so much questions at end. <laughs> Lema as a renowned global sensation won the Trace Award in 2023 and brought so many investors of music industry in Nigeria. Nothing <laughs> Admat, 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 In addition, there are so many celebrities who have given positive compliments to Rema, saying that he is a supportive friend and a person who can be relied upon, especially from the one and only who has sung the song Commas, Lush, and also Gozi by the name Isla Star. And I'll play a video of her talking about Rema, describing him as a very supportive person and also his friend. He's very honest with me. I play him almost every song before it comes out, and he's just like, hmm. I don't know about that one, no. And if he likes it, he's like, mm, this one a demo. Ah, 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 ah. You try, you try, you try. You also had one of your friends in the UK, Rema. You mentioned him earlier. Yes, he's my very good friend. I looked up to Rema even before I joined the label. His first EP, I was like, wow, this is a Nigerian, like, teenage mm. boy. Like, mm -hmm. He was like 18. I was like, wow, I didn't know that was possible. I can do this too. <laughs> he's very honest with me. I play him almost every song before it comes out. And he's just like, mm. I don't know about that one, no. Really? <laughs> and if he likes it, he's like, mm, this one a demo. Ah, 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 ah. You try, you try, you try. You try. Ah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a very good friend and he's an amazing artist. I 
I'm very inspired by him, definitely. <laughs> Lema brought a surprise to his fans by bringing Bayani, the hit maker of Ta Ta Ta, all the way from Nigeria, and he performed his hit song Ta Ta Ta. <laughs> Describe the energy with the music scene in one word in Nigeria, it would be raw. The music is raw, it's unrefined, the energy is pure. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's been, you know, overthought about, like there's not much overthinking put to it. It's just like raw feelings, pure emotions. And I feel like that's, that's why the emotions hit different when you listen to Afrobeat. to build a community before you know before life goes on I just want to build a community I want to build I want to cut up a branch or a new religion you know and oh, wow. that's what I would call the rave movement. Yeah, I've been speak. praying for this moment for years and seems the um, the answers to all my prayers just like held up and gathered yeah. up for a while then exploded on my face like Pew! 
Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Now, um, a lot of people don't know that story, uh, with that encounter with the prince. Maybe you just give it to us in just a minute or so. Okay, yeah. So, um, the prince um, released a song mm. called Gucci Gang. So, uh, back then I was in Benin. Yeah. So, um, I saw um, the song on, uh, on the gram. So, I liked the song. So, I hit, hit on my producer, Liquid Mix, to like cook up a remake mm. of the beat. And, um, yeah. I jumped on it and he liked it and he told me to come over and he introduced me to the team and everything. Hmm. So since then I've been working on songs underground. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And then of course you st you said that you dropped Dumebi and that was like <laughs> absolutely amazing. Like, the, the I didn't response really to expect it. it. Yeah. yeah. You know, like I didn't put all the lyrics together. Yeah. I I just vibed. Yeah. And everything, but they were like, it's cool. Just mm. let it go. It's your sound and stuff like that. And guess what? A lot of what happens now is just vibing to sounds, like going into the studio, maybe with your guys and everything, and then the producer is um, spinning a tune, and then suddenly you guys just start flowing, and then that's how lyrics uh, <laughs> happen nowadays. Does that happen also for you as well, a lot? Um, me, I like to record alone. Mm. I don't like. I don't really like uh, a lot of people in the studio with 